How are you everyone? So uh, basically today uh, we're going to Greenwood uh, and I would like to show you different places and, and tell you why it's really important for most of the Floridians to have a place like that that we can express different staff to people coming from different countries. So let's do it. Let's go with me. Hello guys, so I already arrived to the place. Basically you can see different people walking around and we get um, too many people to be honest with you. Uh, I'm, give you I'm gonna give you a, a short brief about the place. Basically, um, Wynwood is a large Escalade collaboration over the years by artists from over the world. The Wynwood district is Miami has become one of the best places in the world to wander around to catch a glimpse of graffiti and street art from some serious international artists. So you will see museums, uh, different uh, uh, small galleries, um, pubs, restaurants, but most of the staff is related to art. Wynwood is one of the mainland side of the city. Um, it's between basically Little Havana and downtown Miami to the south and Little Haiti to the north. Um, it's beautiful and full of gems to discover because there are too many places, little little places that you never can expect uh, anything but when you get into the places you can see different words and the decoration. So it's pretty cool to come to here. I really recommend it. Um, most of the canvas are about the spray paint and wet paste and increasingly also housing galleries, restaurant shops and art complexes and an ever-growing collection of tourists. You can see people coming from Ireland, Ireland so if you don't really realize that you can receive people from Japan, from China, even from Muslim Muslim countries, um, Saudis, um, I don't know, uh, and New Zealanders, different people around the world are coming every single day to Miami. So uh, this is a pretty good opportunity for the Floridians again to show our culture. We got a multicultural town that we got people from everywhere and uh, we got second, third generation of uh, young people who are actually making uh, this town to grow. So uh, we want to show how we can work together and how can we make those places better when we all of us stand together. Um, so uh, basically the secret is out. There is more the, to Miami than just South Beach. Gone are the days when a vacation rarely been to red past Ocean Drive and perhaps no neighborhood help usher in this Miami Renaissance, more than the trending Miami art district known as a Wynwood. In a matter of years, this former industrial hub, home to warehouses and auto shops, now boast the hostess, the hostess, galleries, trendy bars, and best restaurants in Miami. To some might argue, the resin paid of breweries is an even bigger draw. The Wynwood Miami Art District continues to thrive as the city's epicenter of all things beautiful and expressive. If you can see, we got um, too many people around me. I'm actually showing you how the people enjoy the, uh, and have fun with the families and they take pictures around the walls. So this is a pretty good place to enjoy and have fun. It's something completely different. Uh, so let me just show you a little bit more and I will continue talking about uh, how Wynwood is growing and is getting most the most famous place in Miami. Uh, I just wanted to get an information about, per about a person who can tell me why this place is growing so fast. And uh, 
why it's really common for tourist people to well, come they to here. They remodel the area. They have lots of artwork. It's uh, universal. So everyone from uh, the European countries come over. It's, if you walk around, you'll see it's diverse in the area. Yeah, that's why everybody's coming to Wynwood. That's why they expand in Wynwood. And do you think, Chad, that's a good idea for Miami to receive more people? Yeah, yeah. It's always a great idea when you have diversity in your community. All right. Like I said, you have the artwork, you have the restaurants. The pubs and everything around it that you can enjoy and have fun. Yeah. I got some recommendations that I want to tell you. Uh, for example, the cinema, Wynwood. Uh, the cycle party at night where the people just get together to go away and they just uh, ride them with the bikes around the town they're pretty cool and uh, you can see the diversity of the people uh, Wingwood Graffiti Boogie Tour is also really important uh, cultural, cultural centers like Wingwood Art Walk like the, uh, the walls that I showed you before when you walk around, you can see all the art to a specific uh, designers. Uh, there is many people talking different languages. This is Spanish, um, native language from Europe, like you can even understand it, probably German or even Chinese, Japanese. Um, and it's pretty cool because you can see how different people can be together on the same spot. Um, I get it two or three different restaurants that I tried before and I used to go with my friends to hang out and uh, those are Lagnia P that is pretty fancy um, it's just a short drive from Wynwood's main drag in addition to a huge selection of wine and beer it has delicious cheese plates and you have the option to choose your favorite from the bridge and the staff will plate you for you the other one is the El Patio. El Patio is where you turn up, especially on Sunday, when the post branch crowd breaks into the 80 back door for Latin music and Latin service. So uh, it's a pretty good option as well. If you want to come to here, um, basically you got five different beers for just five bucks when it's happy hour. And the other one, it will be uh, Wynwood Yard, the, uh, the place that I was talking before. And the mixed use space of the Wynwood Yard is always hosting something cool, whether it's uh, live music, craft fairs, or food, uh, something related, related to events. Over helmet, reggae Sundays are always a safe bet. The music blends perfectly with the open air vibes of the hybrid beer garden and bar. So if you have any chance to come to here, um, I would recommend it as well. This is Miami. It's just a little part of my country and the town that I've grown. So uh, if you want to come to here, it's, you're very welcome. Again, you get multicultural people walking around you. Uh, just be able to understand. And then you will have fun with your families. And everything is going to be fine for you. It's pretty safe. You won't have any issue with anyone. Um, at night probably you can find drunk people but normally you don't really have any issue with that um, so you're very welcome to, to come to Wynwood and enjoy, have fun and enjoy the time here we got another person that I met uh, his name is Jimmy and uh, I wanted to get his information as well how our neighborhoods uh, are actually more competitive than the rest of the countries and how we deal with the multicultural communities uh, so Please give me uh, I'm, your I'm from opinion. Delray, and we just built a house in Lake Worth, mm -hmm. and we come down here for the art, and especially we think Lake Worth is going to be built up, but we come down here to see the art, and it's very beautiful, and I think it's very important for the community. So guys, for now we are done. Uh, I just wanted to show you a little part of Wynwood, and uh, to have the information of two different people what about they think about the community because even that this is a place to visit is in a community as well uh, years ago probably four or more than five years ago a lot of people were living here 
and uh, now if you can appreciate uh, the uh, the video um, you will see it's completely different um, there are many companies coming um, many stores um, so it's too many information coming as well but it's still a community so uh, if you have any question if you if you want to give me a like for sure you're very welcome um, again I recommend you to visit Miami is pretty beautiful but it's not just uh, South Beach or Coral Gables or Coconut Grove there is more than that and this place is a pretty good opportunity to meet something completely different like a little secret basically no all the people used to talk about Wynwood when you're coming from another country they used to recommend different places around the town but no Wynwood because we they wanted they want to keep that secret just for the people who lives in Miami but I think it's interesting when we receive people from different countries as well and how we can show all our values and the way that we live to others coming from another side or another state so uh, my name is Juan and uh, this was for today I really appreciate your time as well and I will see you then have a pretty good day and uh, hope to see you walking around Wynwood one day see you guys have a good one bye